the infamous glow plug control module for the BMW N57. This is one of the common components that will fail on older vehicles. And of course, because I'm driving a 5 Series N57, I had also to change this part. Having the old component in the garage brought me to the idea of taking it apart and trying to answer the following question. How is it constructed? What do we have inside? and what might have been the cause for this failure. Of course, after having that information, we might ask the question of, is this component repairable? Okay, construction. I'm gonna show you how I took it apart. However, in taking it apart, I got an idea of how the manufacturer might have assembled it. My opinion is that they started with the aluminum heat sink on top of that, they placed the PCB board. After that, they came about with the casing, the plastic casing that um, has the connectors. They glued that all together. And after that, they had to connect the socket to the individual points on the PCB board. After that, they followed with a layer of silicon, the clear silicon that you might see in the video somewhere on the screen. That would be used to ensure no humidity is reaching our electronics and maybe that would also help with dissipating heat. It might work, it might not work with that purpose. Okay, we have the construction. After that silicon, they placed the top cover and that top cover has a respirator which would allow for the silicon to cure at uh, its own pace and ensure that the manufacturing can happen quite effectively. Root cause. What might have caused this type of component to fail? Whenever we are controlling high currents, a byproduct of that will be heat. Of course, they mitigated against that by the use of that big heat sink in the back, but maybe heat was the cause of this component failing. Another thing that I've noticed or another thing that I would be looking at is one of these big um, transistors doing the research about them. I found and going after the part number that they are smart power switches made by Infineon and also the technical term for them is a profet six of them or not six of them five of them maybe one of them is faulty of course when i was removing all of the stuff the component the biggest component and the one that everybody was speculating that is in charge is this beauty this is a microcontroller made by st if you search for it search for it using this part number strangely enough it has a bmw specific number so maybe it's an application from ST specifically to the BMW. My opinion or the strange thing when I was doing uh, the removal using all sorts of chemicals, this microcontroller came loose. So either my chemicals were that harsh that they uh, removed the microcontroller or maybe the heat in combination with that silicon didn't allow um, or influenced the way that this microcontroller was connected to the PCB board and maybe a loose connection between the microcontroller and the PCB board is the cause of this component failing. We continue with answering the question of is it repairable or isn't it? Taking into account how much hassle I went through to remove the clear silicon and the positioning of the component, I would really consider this component as a non-repairable component or it is not repairable at a decent price. The board is secured to the heatsink, very hard to remove. I wouldn't see anyone uh, attempting to do the repair. Saying that one of the, the profits needs to be replaced, it's quite hard to do the soldering and should you want to re-glue or to re-solder the microcontroller due to all of the other contaminants that are on your board, that is close to impossible. 
if we look at it, yeah, I would be tempted based on the shape of those contacts to think that it was an issue with the microcontroller. Overall, an example of nice engineering or interesting engineering, but engineering that does not really um, allow for um, the component to be repaired. And maybe the cost of this component is not even justifying that type of repair. Now, I hope that this video was useful. At least for me, it was interesting to find out what was inside of this um, glow plug control module. If you find it interesting, don't forget to consider liking and subscribing. And on that note, I shall be seeing you in the next one.